Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester. Street coming in here, trying to grab that gold is Felipe Lima. White shorts, blue corner. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett here at Octagon 45 Special. What a fight this is set to be. Fascinating every single angle you look at it. Yeah, extremely tough challenge this for Jonas Magard, our champion here. Felipe coming off 11 fight win streak. Very versatile and coming from a fantastic gym there in All-Star All -Star Sweden. But Jonas has grown and grown throughout his career here at Octagon, and he's seen him just get better and better. He needs to put on one hell of a performance here and control the distance. You can see him fainting, you can, but you, that low kick already becoming a bit of a trouble for him. We've got five rounds of action tonight. Someone needs to establish early. Well, it's a confident start from Lima taking the centre of the cage. The thing I love about his fights and jumping back, he's got the jump knee there. This is his footwork, is his movement. He has a really buoyant style and he uses it extremely well. Turns it nicely against the cage with the double underhooks there as well. You can see him looking for the takedown here early. And having uh, Alan Finpu Nascimento in his corner, for me, knowing the gym very well, is a sign that he might try and establish ground as he gets this takedown. And wraps the legs up straight away. That becomes such a move now. Wrapping up that arm as well. Yeah, we might see him try and use the ground game because Alan only travels to fights where he's going to be utilized. So as he's in the corner, that shows me that oh, he's taking the back. tactically they're going to look to take the back and look for submissions. Oh, slips off there. Good defense. Jonas doing well to get back to his feet, trying to feed that arm on the inside and try and break this grip. Strange head position here from Felipe, but he moves it again. Looking very good early on in this first round. The other thing about him, he's looking confident, Luke. Sometimes when you fight Magad, because the, the fight's on from the moment it's signed, it's personal from the word go. He's not phased by that. He looks relaxed and confident, and, and he's taking the momentum early on in this first round. Yeah, and in the biggest stage of his life, you know, here at Octagon, first debut, main event, massive arena, massive event. He's doing a fantastic job early, but Jonas here fighting well, looking to try and break this grip. Looking composed himself as well. That's the other thing. Don't waste energy, right? There you go. Throws off the end of that combination. Maybe woke him up a little bit. That did Jonas. Seemed to start a bit sluggish in this fight. Needs to be aware of that calf kick as well, because Lima's going to keep going back to that. Uses that footwork, sets it up, and then throws low. Really wide base from Lima as well. That allows him a good in and out. See Jonas looking a little bit rigid here. That needs to build in confidence. Backing up, needs to throw that right hand oh. off the back foot again. There's that low kick. Oh, a nice left as well. Oh, now Jonas steps in. It comes down to whoever goes fast uh, first in these these, these in control yeah, these moments because both extremely fast. Jonas looking for that double. There goes in on the single. Good underhook though here from Lima. Switches to that high crotch. Does Jonas? Needs to try and get his hips closer, but great control here from Lima. See how he's got that one hook, underhook on the right side, and the left arm is switched outside to control to take up a little bit. Tries to snap down, oh, switches great. outside, but what great yeah. work from Jonas, but gets swept. Oh. The scramble was on, back and forth, roll and roll, and there we go, we have Lima out on top. And now foot on the hip from Jonas. Needs to, be, needs to be effective here, because I feel like this is what Lima wants. Lima wants to be on top in this fight. I feel like this is the game plan for these guys, to get on top and look for takedowns. Jonas staring over to his corner. He needs to try and get a foot on the hip, try and create space and get back to his feet, or look for his own sweep. Yeah, Jonas is no slouch on the ground. You talk about him becoming this knockout artist, this exquisite striker, but you look at his record, the number of finishes, the Japanese necktie, it was one of the tricks he had under his belt early in his career, but look at that pass from Lima. Yeah, give up his back here, does Jonas, needs to get to his feet early, manages to get that right hook on the inside uh, of, of the turtle guard there. You see Lima, he has the wrist, but his right knee is in between the legs. That's just uh, stopping big shots. Well, that was a big shot. Manages to circle out, though, does Jonas. This is a great fight. There we go. 44 seconds left of round number one, and they are really going for it. They're leaving it all out here. Yeah, and Jonas now on top. Does a great, great work to finally get that top position. It's been extremely talent challenging for him. And Lima getting that sweep early on as well. 
Now just splitting the guard, those legs, taking away the posture of Jonas, so he can't create any damage with any ground and pound. Up against the fence here, 20 seconds left. It's been a fast first round. Started a bit slow, and then once they got going, it's been non-stop action. And if you think about that in terms of the amount of time Lima has had away from the cage, and then Jonas, he's had five round fights in that time. He has been active, whether it's been in boxing or mixed martial arts. Yeah, great first round from these two. That's for round number two, scheduled for a potential five. Off we go, Lima in the blue corner. The challenger taking on the champion, Jonas Sharp Magard in the red. That calf kick landing again for odds. Lima. Look at the odds, they've switched now towards Felipe Lima. Yes, everyone agrees with me that Lima took that first round calf kick from Magard. And again. Just flicking it out, that's a nice way to... Boy, nice right hand lance from Lima. Goes to the body, then goes high. That was great. Explosive attack from him. Oh, good reaction on the hips as well. Oh, he's grabbing the neck. He's got a burn on this neck as well. Switches out. Good work from Jonas here. But this might be a north-south choke now. Gives up on it, but manages to get the takedown from it. Great offense here from Lima. Very, very dangerous there. And versatile. Again, a, a huge vocabulary attacks in a number of different positions. Again, a lot of questions being asked to Jonas. He's had the answers so far. Lima on top, though. Has a very dominant position early on, only one minute into this second round. Could land some good elbows here. Jonas gives up the back, needs to be careful because I feel like that's what Lima wants. Lima's searching for the back of Jonas. Yeah, he waits, he tries and set that hooks. Three minutes, 45 seconds, and what has been a frantic start to this bantamweight contest. Jonas two on one on, the, on that arm, though. It gives it up from the punches to the head, which is what Lima wants. Goes two on one, that stops any choke attempts. Gets in that hook, though. Great work here oh, from Lima. Hooks. Both hooks and he manages to flatten him out, but I feel like Jonas needs to be careful oh, of this side choke. There we go, big shots. Sticks to the back here, Lima. Looks to set that figure of four as well. Might have this, doesn't quite have it. He's flattening out Jonas here. What an unreal. Jonas has managed to turn it around. There we go, and now back to their feet. What a response from the champion, Magad. And grabs hold of this tight waist. Great work, though, from Lima as he reverses him out. Drops down, maybe, oh, to get this double, gets his hands together. Straight away looks for this. Relentless pace. Relentless and pace and great work from Jonas, defending everything, but there's always another response from Lima. Managing to get this takedown now. Now needs to be careful as he turtles up. Needs to get his hips back to the fence and try and stand. Can't be static in these positions and allow Lima to land. Oh, a nice elbow dropping down again. Strong work here, right in front of us here. In the Gets that cross grip. Hands connected now for Lima. Jonas needs to try and get to his feet here without giving up the back. Needs to move his left hip to the cage. Maybe can turn in. Halfway through this second round, Jan Verbonik asking for them to stay busy. Doesn't want the action to slow down. Oh, he's got buckets. Gets land out again. Out. Oh, big, big land, elbow. big shot, big right hand. Big shots here. Oh, Jonas covering up. He needs to work here. Needs to give the referee maybe a tripod to try and get Lima off. Lima's hips are very high. He's got the triangle, though, the body triangle there, attaching himself across that midsection of Jonas Magad. Yeah, has a great position, flattening him out. A lot of love. Pressure being a mid, but now could maybe go for this tripod. Big shots landed again, gonna give up the mount. Maybe the side chokes there as well. He looks like he wants the ground and pound on the back. Oh, now he's holding and establishing, riding really well, Lima, to keep this spot. One minute 30 seconds left in round number two. Yeah, big shots these now from Lima. We need a tripod out of Jonas. We need to change the situation. That pressure on the midsection from the triangle. Beautiful work. Oh, close that round now on the mount. Referee could be close to stopping this as well. Fluid work from Felipe Lima. Two Big two shot two lands. The back. Oh, and flattens him out again. Maybe working out here to split the guard and get out. Manages to give up position. Jonas doing work here still. Manages to get two on one. Needs to try and release this grip and not give up the mount. I'm gonna give up his back here. Could maybe roll, could change the, change the dynamic of this fight. Has 45 seconds left in this round. Big shots from Lima again. Needs to get back to his feet. Gabonic keeping a real close eye on this. Oh, that's oh, under the chin. chin. 
That's under the chin, chin, and he's got, got a good grasp here of the neck of Jonas. Oh, he's rolled with him. And he has... Pele Lima, palm to palm, looking for the finish here. This oh, is tight. Can he do it? Now he's let it go. Jim McGuard survives. 20 seconds left in round number two. Great work from Jonas Magard because that was deep. He snatched it up quickly and managed to get the hooks as well. Showed urgency in that position, survived and we'll see round number three. That's a 10-8 round though. Absolutely demolished here in this second round by, the, by Lima. Needs to dig to establish early here, does Jonas. Off we go again, round number three, Lima, blue corner, Magard in the red. Arguably two rounds up for Lima. Magad now looking down the barrel. He needs to come back with something special. Needs to earn the respect here, Lima. Need the air, and that's that earn respect. Good right hand. That's what we need more of from Jonas. Oh, nice. And lands again. And he's got the tools right, Luke. You know him very well. You know that camp extremely well. And he has the mentality as well. He's going to fight to, to the final belt. This is war for him. He's going in here and going to give it everything. You know, he does have that heart, but he needs to be aggressive. He can't back up now. He can't let Lima grow because Lima... Head kick. There we go. Lima has looked fantastic, especially in that second round. I'd say Jonas is down two rounds, maybe a 10-8 as well. So he has to win this round if he wants even to win a decision or not get oh, a finish. Nice knee from Lima there as he turns. Jonas looking for the takedown. Gets it, gives up his Big. neck in the process. Big takedown though. Manages to work those legs up. This could be... It's an arm in. Is it? No, it's not. He gives up on it. Yes, Head go. pops out. Big moment from a guard though, and you saw it. Just how much energy and commitment he put into getting it to the mat there. Yeah, deep, deep reps from him. Definitely the best round, the beginning into the round that he's had so far. Controlling on the feet, landed that good right hand and got this takedown. Lima trying to search for oh, a triangle. triangle. Now switches switching. to the Immel Platter. But Magard switches out, does well, manages to stuff that. Gonna try and maybe go around to the back. Lima gonna get oh, up wow. here. Look at the way everything that Lima is prepared for is. He's just on today. Deep breaths here from Jonas Magard. Oh, and now Lima looking for the takedown of his own. Carrying him, oh, carrying him back to the corner. Let go, that was a poor contact. He might regret that, but again, gets away with it. Three minutes left now. Again in on this takedown right in front of his corner. Going for the head, the head and arm here is Jonas. Going for that guillotine. Gets told to give it up, I feel like, for the corner. Has a deep whizzer. Needs to try and turn out to his right hip. Needs to widen that base as well. His legs are very close together. If, the, uh, if Limo decides to drop down for the double, he'll get it. See how close the legs are, Jonas. Yeah, yeah. Needs to widen that base. Try and push the head. Reaping that leg is a bit strange decision. Good head position here from Lima. Good control. Yes. Grabbing the fence. Grabbing the fence there. Back on the feet. In the center here of the octagon cage. Off we go again. Just over two minutes left. Third round. Oh, oh, right, hand. Land, right hand lands. Shook Lima a little bit. Fainted first and then threw. Oh, no, Went for it. a takedown this time but gets the double. Nice. Good conversion. Fantastic round this from Jonas. Explosive stuff from the champion there. The right hand following that entry and the commitment again on that takedown. One minute, 50 seconds. And again, remember, this is a five-round fight. Jonas knowing what that feels like, especially at this higher level. Really has to shine here, though. Like I said, he's three rounds down, technically, because I believe he got a 10-8 10 10 in that last round. So if he wins this, he's still losing. Losing by two rounds. He'd have to win the fourth and the fifth just to get a draw. So he needs to be looking for finishes. Great top position at the moment, though. And less action from uh, Lima on his back. You talk about that fatigue starting to kick in. Maybe the fatigue, maybe. He was much more explosive. Or maybe he's trying to take the round off. You never know. And sometimes in these third rounds, he fills up. He might try and relax, go for the legs. Jonas aware of it, though. Switches back in. Needs to be careful of this triangle. Nice switch in. Nice drop. Drops that shot. In his corner as well here, listen to the Manchester top team head coach, Carl Prince. So doing whatever he needs to do here, got 
40 seconds left in this third round. I mean, if you needed a response from Jonas, That's he's it. given it. Yeah, Hunt, After that second round, looking for this triangle. Triangle's got that. Oh, now trying to set it. Tight. Wow. Switches out to the other platter. Who used this to switch position, get back to his feet, but Magard staying attached. Hey, good left hand. Here we go. Oh, what a fight. What a fight between these two. Spinning back fist, lands. Triangle into Oma Plata, into get up. Again, this single. Oh, he's got the 90. Needs to be careful of that neck. But it still converts that takedown, and the clock runs out. Good round from Magon. Yes. Fascinating stuff. Round one and round two, you felt the momentum firmly in the corner there. Now, round number four here, the main event, Octagon 45 special, the double head of the weekend here at the Stranitzer. There's bad blood between these two. Still no touch of gloves going into this fourth round. Nice jab from Jonas. Oh, there we go. And again, needs to move his feet and stay off that fence. Oh, nice right Needs hand. to stay off that fence. <laughs> Low with that calf kick. Way oh, good left hand, lads. The return, getting into a bit of a ding dong here. These two, way that one hurt. Oh, one back. Way oh. right hand, lads. Oh. Head kick. Good combination there from Liam. He's starting to get his range back. These two opening up now in this fourth round. A little bit, little bit tired. Opening up, make, both making a few mistakes and leaving openings and both taking them out. But still popping the shots from Lima, those hooks certainly. Oh, and another one straight right down the middle there. Again, Jonas up against this fence, his positioning in the cage is bad. He's always been on the back foot. He needs to control the centre. He needs the footwork that we've seen him have in other fights. He needs to circle out this position and start moving those feet. Mirroring each other at the moment, whatever. Whatever one of them throws, they're throwing back. And Jonas now, a card to see if he's got that underhook. No, he's got, he's got double underhooks, has Lima. Great work from Jonas to get back to his feet. Both very sweaty now as well, and the mat is wet. We've seen it, a few slips throughout the night. But the scrambles have been really good between these two, both reacting with urgency, not giving a single position without making the other person work for it. This cage wrestling has been very, very good uh, from Lima, and then he's trying to look for that inside reap as well. We go to a much more traditional spot here, but both double underhooks still in favor of Lima. Jonas complaining, but he can't complain. He needs to be urgent yeah, to get his back off here. Way out of there. Jan Bornik, a great referee. He'll make sure. Has managed to get that left side underhook back, though. Needs to use it now. As they spin out, gets that reversal, gets double underhooks for himself. Good head position as well here now. You can see the total strikes here. I mean, most of that is the second round. Yeah. Trying to bully him down, manages he does to. It. He does it. Bit high on the back here, though. Falls off, has the Kimura, but loses it. Oh, this north-south position again now. Lima will look to establish side control. And that's unfortunate for Jonas, because now he's on the bottom. And this round ticking away, ticking away. He cannot allow it to just die out like this. He needs to move, needs to be urgent. We need to see something from him here. Lima, those nice knees to the back. A good top position, good control here from uh, Lima. Magad again being asked questions. He's never been asked inside the octagon cage. Yeah, both kind of holding on here to the grip. Oh, needs to be careful. Knees. Got to be careful with those knees. Knee to the back of the spine, oh, oh, illegal shot good. from we Lima. Don't need that. that was a knee right to the back. As he turned his back, I was Jan Bonnik, a stern warning to Felipe Lima. Oh, oh. Nice left hand oh. and the right. Oh, we're coming forward now. Here we go. Fire starting to light underneath this bantamweight contest. Jonas overthrowing that hook. Oh, whoa, whoa. And now charging for the takedown. Putting that together beautifully. That was beautiful MMA, that. And great defense from Lima. Yeah. That, you couldn't, that couldn't have been a better entry. Was perfect. And Lima's balance and athleticism yeah, that there. Athleticism that was fantastic. Really good. 
One minute, 15 seconds in round four, which we might look back on as the key round, and that point well, being a key moment in the fight. Jonas still needs to win this round. Another moment, it's very unsure. Nice right hand, oh, both oh. landing. He's making it ugly, though, now, which is I like. He's making this into a brawl. Oh, uh, right, gives up the, the double underhooks. Come together too close. And again, now Lima has that, that fitness, he has that explosive energy, you know, because he's an explosive athlete. We saw that in the second round. He got tired and you saw that in the third round. And now he's had to manage to little, you know, a little bit of a break and he can have that, that fast explosive energy again. But he might not have it for long. You know, four and five, four from fifth round. We've only got 30 seconds left. Knee is open through the middle if he wants it. But he's managed to get these takedowns again, every time. Again. And he gets it again. Just drove his own head into the canvas there, but didn't seem deterred by it. Now in this position, strong, strong end to the round here from uh, Felipe Lima. Yeah, and this is tough for Jonas now. Feel like in this position, if he can't manage to change it, 10 seconds to go. Wow, we will see a fifth and final round. And only, only if there is not a stoppage in that round will we find out how important that fight, that one point, Big right hand lands for Jonas Magard as the crowd go wild here. Opening our fifth round. Again, it comes down to the footwork. Jonas needs to stay off this fence. Needs to move out of the way. Way oh. big knee lands. Switches it out though. Has this single. The balance on Felipe Lima is something else, right? But you know in that All-Stars gym, the amount of wrestlers they've got back there, he will be used to these positions and defending them time and time again. And again, this for me is not what Jonas needs to be doing. He needs to be breaking away and looking to finish this fight. He was doing well on the feet, but he gets back up against that fence and the distance that Lima provides. Said this fight was all about distance. If nice and gets that take down, beautiful work. Needs to be careful of the leg lock. Switch out, gets that neck. Look at the scrambles. This is round five, and look at how well they are both moving. And in particular, Lima to come out on top in front of that. Beautiful work from Lima. Needs to work, it needs urgency from Johan. That's what the corner are asking for. They say it's five minutes, this is your fight, you need to get up. You cannot be stalled in these positions because as the time ticks away, it's bad for you. You need to get up. Lima here, dominant. Oh, this is another great spot. We him. saw this in the third round, exactly the same. He has great control here. His hips are always in a very good position. And he works well from it as well, finds opportunities to uh, open up either the game. Beautiful work, how he got that hook in. Go back and watch that. That was fantastic what he did there. He set the hook up and then he pulled the leg over it. That was beautiful. McGar back to his feet. Oh, three minutes, 20 seconds left in his fifth and final Need round. to dig deep here, does Jonas Magar. Needs to bring out the beast. Needs to bring out the shark because at the moment, it's all for Lima, uh, all Lima in this, Lima in this fifth round. What a performance here from the debutant Lima. Now stepping. Into oh, the back. oh, big shot coming down now. Takes the back. Both hooks in as well. Yeah, pressuring down. Big shot to the back of the head. Really strong, strong. This is what this is what we saw in the second round. Way big elbow lands. And another. Look at this. What a finish to this fight. But they are big shots. Still got those hooks in Luke. Still need to see a tripod from Jonas here. Need to see him get high. Need to see his legs work. Tough in the, in the halfway through this fifth round. We need explosive energy. He needs to be careful oh, to the side, Joe. Yeah, the needs to be up. careful here. He's working his way up here. He's got the cage to that side. And he's, he's cinching it up right in front of us here in the commentary box. Has this modified grip. Jonas breathing heavy as well. Gives up on it though a little bit. Goes back to it with the short grip, oh, has the still, full mount. Still holding it, he's still squeezing. Two minutes to go. <laughs> Doesn't matter, he just needs to hold this position. Jonas needs to be on top. Jonas needs the urgency to win this fight. It doesn't matter if Lima just sits here now for two rounds. <laughs> Lima is talking to... He's talking to us, look at that. He believes he's done enough, and what a dominant end to this round. We've got to see something out of Jonas in the last one minute, 40 seconds. Yeah, incredible performance this so far from Lima. He faded a little bit in the third round, but then he come back. Jonas now alive and on top, showing again the heart that he has. He doesn't want to let go of this belt lightly.
But that scramble again, constant scramble, Lima ending on top or in the more dominant position up against the fence. Again, ducks down. Has, that's been that those takedowns have been crucial in this fight. And it's a small adjustment, right? Just widen your legs, your base a little bit more. It makes it that bit, bit more difficult to cinch those hands. Beautiful work there from Lima to drag down the loose arm as we go into our final minute. Yeah, Lima just looked up at the clock there. He just took a little look and those one minute to the finishing line. Now he's got two on one on that far wrist. It's very hard for Jonas to do anything here. He needs to try and free that. Only can do that with hip pressure. But he's taken away that hip pressure with that right leg. So Lima in complete control of this position now. Looking to try and land a big yeah, shot. Pulling it back inside as well. Breaking that base. Trying to look for the neck. Manages to get that arm just under the chin. Can't quite find it. Lifting the chin though here now is Jonas. Needs to be careful. Now needs to scramble. Oh. Gives up that second hook. Oh, he's going for it again. Yeah, Felipe got right. 25 seconds to finish this. Right to the end, he's got the body triangle as well. What a fight, what a night, what a main event. And what an announcement on the Octagon stage for the Brazilian by way of Sweden, Felipe Lima. This will go to the judges. Wow, really. Judges. In the hand of the judges, but I feel what like... Fight. What a fight, right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, let's see how judges score this fight. 48-45, 48-46, and 48-45. All for the winner. Octagon MMA, Bantamweight champion. And new <laughs> Octagon MMA Bantamway champion Felipe Gorro Lima. A new era begins as Octagon MMA, Europe's best MMA show, is coming to the UK for the very first time. Octagon 48 will go down on November 4th at the world-renowned AO Arena in Manchester. Where UK fans will experience the electric atmosphere and heart-pounding action that Octagon MMA is known for across Europe and beyond. We will bring some of MMA's biggest names, plus a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage going head-to-head -head after 10 months of vigorous training. One of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. This is the fight that many people have had their eyes on. We'll see UK MMA's rising star, Liverpool's Shem Rock. And one of the most well-known, most dangerous. This phenom has already racked up eight victories before the time limit, with seven of them in the very first round. And the cherry on top will be the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show, Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After two months of the TV show, at this night in Manchester, the Octagon Challenge champion will be crowned. The That's it. Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester.